Hello guys and welcome to Survival Russia. It's Sunday, it's awesome. I mean, look at it. Who cannot love winter? Who cannot love the north and the strong winter? I don't get it. To me it would be a disaster to live in a place without four clearly defined seasons. That's for sure. I mean, take a look around here. We have a little bit of a wind. This is my land. Of course, but look at all the snow crystals and. Well, anyway, enough of the beautiful winter talk. I've been uh, encouraged a few times to make something about snow shelters, snow survival shelters, and blah blah blah. And I have made snow shelters earlier, but uh, today I'm going to build a snow shelter. I'm going to show you how to make what I think is uh, one of the best snow shelters you can make. It's very fast as well and that's why it's good. <laughs> Generally I'm not a big fan of snow shelters, let that be said. But uh, snow shelters can be handy. It's surely better than spend the night out in minus 40 C for example. The snow shelter I want to make today is a military style snow shelter, sort of a patrol shelter for not for extremely long stays but for a few days or so on and so forth. Since we are on my own land there will also be noise from the Trans-Siberian Railroad as always and the logging trucks that you can most likely hear out there in the back. As you can hopefully see I've staked out the corners here and uh, I have already off camera cut out the, the size of the shelter. So sort of like have become a, a little habit for me to comment on comments or comment on recent videos and I have a comment for this uh, little video here. It's on the hybrid light video I made. Some think that something spooky is going on, that I am sponsored by Hybrid Light and blah 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 blah. It's not the case at all. I just requested two lights so I could show you stuff that works. I mean, I'm not sponsored by anybody other than myself and uh, by you guys who donate to PayPal and Patreons and so on. And also guys who watch the commercials of course. And I have no intentions of changing that whatsoever. I just wanted to show you stuff that works. But uh, yeah, I understand there's a lot of cow manure going on in the YouTube uh, review and product world so um, I sort of like forgive you guys for for having these kind of thoughts but it's not how it is but I think that showing a flashlight that can uh, stay out in the Russian winter in uh, minus 30 C for more than 12 hours and the day after for for 14 hours in minus 19 C uh, I think it's worth showing so let's get on with the shelter here but to make this shelter you need some stuff of course or some equipment and uh, I have my Avalanche shovel and I have my silky katana boy here. Since it's a military style shelter, you of course need some kind of equipment to make it, right? And uh, anyway, if you should find yourself in an emergency situation, you better have some vital equipment with you, right? Okay, so making the blocks uh, go sort of like this, I'm using the silky katana boy, or well, any saw will actually work, but a little trick here is to, to cut some good space here, and then uh, also, Cut a little space on the other side. And I'll show you in a second why that is a good idea. You see we have an ice crust in the very bottom. Alright, so if you don't clean on the sides, make a little bit, then when you want to remove the block, it will bind on the sides and it will most likely break. Today the snow here is not ideal, it's a little bit fragile. Let's see if I can get this block out. You see that? It loosens up. You have to be extremely careful. I got that one. And then it's just cut, 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 cut. The ice crust in the bottom here. Then you can also hear Trans-Siberian Railroad clean the sides here a little bit. Also here. I'm making a a little shelf on this side and I make the shelf here over on the other side as well. And of course to 
have the blocks to stand on this shelf here. Yes, the shovel is a little bit cold, but uh, if I hold my hand at the same spot, it's uh, not too bad actually. So I'll make the shelves here and uh, then we get to the critical part of putting these blocks up. It's a little difficult to work with the snow today it's because it's been extremely cold so it's very very fine even if it's compressed. We had a little crisis because uh, some of the blocks, as you can see, broke because the snow is really difficult to work with and uh, I didn't want it to improvise another shelter, which I could, of course. As you can see, I've also compressed a much larger area than I actually needed because I knew I could run into this problem, right? So, uh, yeah, I of course know this because of I made this shelter quite a lot. So, uh, yeah, training is everything. You can see there's a little hole there. I just take a piece of a snow block, fill it in, put some snow on top. There we have a little bit of a ventilation hole, but uh, a light cover of snow. Everything is awesome. Of course, take a little walk around here. You can see down at the end here, we have uh, two snow plates stacked up. So that's basically it guys, that's a winter warfare or military style patrol shelter. It's uh, very fast to make. If I did not have to record all this, I can make it in an hour, maybe 90 minutes or something. It depends on the conditions. Today was a little bit difficult, but it's a very good shelter. Let's go in and take a look. There we are. Now I of course have to to clean it out a little bit, I cleaned it as much as possible. So as you can see, there's plenty of space for one man, some equipment and a little candle or fat wood fire or something like this. It should be done with caution, of course, but the there's a reason that's a good thing to have a candle with you and make a small space where you can have the candle because if the flame starts to slowly die out that means that uh, there's too much CO2 I think it's uh, it's called in English um, and that's not good of course but so it's of course important to have a little bit of ventilation. Here we have the entrance. The top of the snow is of course 
hardest. So it's actually the top of the snow that I have used as the two pillars here because uh, the snow down here, as you can see, is very fragile. I know what's coming now. I know that I'm gonna hear somebody say that I should dig a coal sink. You don't need a coal sink. Just put up some snow blocks here, of course, for the night and so on, and uh, everything is fine. It's just, uh, it's, it's not needed. I, I've heard it a lot every time I made a snow shelter. Dig a coal sink, dig a coal sink. I mean, yeah, dig a hole this deep and this wide, and all the cold is gone, right? Also, what's really awesome about these uh, wool trousers here is, of course, you can see there's a lot of ice on them now. But basically, I can just let it freeze and uh, simply just rub it off. Guys, nothing more to say then. Uh, I hope you liked the video. Maybe we'll do an overnighter in it. I will let it stand uh, and, and uh, solidify or stabilize, what you can say, because I'm not in a winter war scenario at the moment, so I have the luxury of doing that. But yeah, maybe we'll take an overnighter in it. But I have other overnight plans. Please check the links in the description. Sub share, subscribe, and sub bell, and sub like. And until next time, get out and train, get it done. See you next time here in wonderful, wonderful wintertime Russia. Thank you very much guys. Have a good Sunday.